guys. So here I am <laughs> practicing my social distancing. Um, Orpheus and I are chilling in the apartment trying to keep ourselves safe and sane and I hope you're all doing the same. Um, for me, of course, that means delving into skincare, which is what I love. Um, and so this week's blog is about um, products for dry skin or skin that's experiencing seasonal dryness, um, which is my skin. Uh, it hasn't been particularly cold this year, but my skin still went through something. Um, and then as the seasons are uh, change, as the seasons are changing and, and switching between um, winter and spring, um, we still have dry nights. And so over the last couple of weeks, um, I've talked quite a bit about products that are targeted for dry skin or really particularly beneficial for dry skin. And I did a blog article, um, I guess it must have been in December where I talked about uh, really, really good facial oils that were ideal for treating dryness at this time of year. And so as temps have kind of started to warm up, I wanted to share some discoveries, some product favorites that I love for, they're not, they're not too heavy, but they're perfect for um, addressing any kind of dryness. And we all kind of experience that, whether your skin is oily or normally dry, um, you can bring your skin back to balance. And people ask me all the time what my skin type is. I just tell them it's normal. I mean, to me, all skins are normal. It's just a matter of how you address what's going on with your skin and how your skin behaves in reaction to what you apply to it. So I pulled together five products over the last couple of weeks that I thought were particularly um, noteworthy, if you will. Um, I have a really amazing clean cleanser from Codex Beauty. I've got this incredible, um, it's called Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner from First Aid Beauty. This stuff is amazing. Um, I have this really cool, like deliciously whipped, like look how thick it is, um, moisturizer from Comfort Zone. It's called Sublime Skin Rich Cream, and indeed it is. Um, I have two sleeping masks, one for eyes. I've talked about this product before um, from Glow Recipe, the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. And I've got the Herbivore Moon Fruit Overnight Sleeping Treatment. Uh, they call it Super Fruit Night Treatment. Moon Fruit Super Fruit Night Treatment. This stuff is incredible. So let's just get to it. Um, obviously the first thing, <laughs> the key to every proper skincare routine is a really good cleanser. Um, so in the blog, I talk about the fact that I cleanse my skin four times a day. And before you gasp and say that that, that seems aggressive, it's not as aggressive as you think. It's actually not aggressive at all. Uh, so the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I wash my face with a cleansing water. Super gentle. I know there's a lot of people who don't think that you should need to wash your skin in the morning, wash your face in the morning, but the reality is if you put products on the night before, and in particular a sleeping mask, a lot of that stuff is still on your face. Some of it is embedded in your pores and you want to kind of start the day fresh and get that off. Um, so I cleanse first thing in the morning. I cleanse again when I come back up from the gym, when I get into the shower, getting the sweat and any kind of sebum buildup in my pores out. Uh, then I cleanse at the end of the day, not part of my PM routine, but when I get home from work, I always wash my face with a good cleansing oil um, to get out the grime, anything, all the gunk that's accumulated in my pores, the pollution from being out in the city and of course, to remove sunscreen. And then the last uh, cleanse of the day is again, a cleansing water. First cleanse, last cleanse, a cleansing water. Before I go to bed to kick off my routine, make sure I start with a clean palette. So you see, it makes complete sense and it's not aggressive and it's not crazy. Uh, so the first product I wanna talk about is this phenomenal cleansing oil 
called the Bia Wash Off Cleansing Oil from Codex Beauty. I've talked about Codex Beauty before on the blog. It's this amazing, clean, non-toxic um, brand. I think they're based in Ireland, um, hence the green, right? And they just have some really phenomenal formulas that are, they're just so pleasurable. They're rich, they're luxurious, and this cleansing oil is no exception. So the first ingredient is baraja seed oil, which is a non-fragrant plant oil. It's really, really rich in fatty acids. Uh, there's also chia seed oil, there's black currant oil, and there's soothing, healing oat kernel oil. But check this out. And while I love all of that, I think the one thing I love most about this product is like, and I talk about this in the blog, it's like the chemist said, I'm going to create a product that em emulsifies barely enough, barely enough to clean skin and nothing else. This product, ugh, this product would never strip the skin, period. It barely emulsifies. I'm gonna show you how barely. Like, at all? Does it emulsify at all? You really can't tell, can you? There you go, you get some of it. Amazing. It's such an amazing formula. It's really soothing, really comforting, completely 100% non-stripping. Like you cannot strip your skin with this. And it smells fantastic. It's 70 bucks, but a little goes a really long way. I mean, this product probably lasts you six months. Phenomenal, outstanding, and bravo, hats off to the Codex Beauty Chemist who decided to make a cleansing oil that emulsified just enough and not a bit more. I love this stuff. Next is this phenomenal toner. Of course, I've talked a million times about how, um, how important a toner is in a skincare routine. It makes me so sad when people say they don't use toners because they have been my, uh, brainwashed by big beauty marketers who've sold them this crazy story about how a toner, it, the purpose of a toner is to remove any excess dirt or debris. Man, I've written so many of those packages um, that your cleanser didn't remove. Seriously, if your cleanser was cleansing properly, you wouldn't have dirt and debris left to remove. Um, the purpose of a toner is to hydrate the skin, to dampen the skin, to prep the skin for the application of the other products, the other water-based products in your routine. So it's, it's honestly simple chemistry. Water molecules attract water molecules. If your skin is damp, um, it's filled with water at the surface and those water molecules in the surface of your skin are going to attract like a magnet and draw other products into the skin. It's that simple. Uh, if you think of, I talk about this every once in a while, if you think of uh, 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 like a small pool of water on a countertop and you want to soak that up, let's say you have two sponges, you have a dry sponge and a wet sponge. If you put the wet sponge down into the water, it's going to soak it up much more quickly than a dry sponge because the water molecules are attracting other water molecules. Um, but let's check this step out. So Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating, to hydrating Toner from First Aid Beauty. Look how milky and wonderful this is. I need to take my ring off. If I can, if I can even take my ring off. Um, this toner is filled with ingredients that I love finding in skincare, but that you don't usually find in a toner. There's squalane in here. You don't usually find squalane in a toner. There's honey, there's fermented honey, like what? <laughs> honey ferment? That's crazy. That's amazing. There's propolis. Propolis extract is the substance that bees use to uh, create their hives, to fill in the honeycomb. Um, it's a combination of beeswax and sap. And similarly to honey itself, it's an antibacterial. So it's a, just a, a unique proposition. The fact that this product this, it's, it's, it's much more than a hydrating toner. It's like a, it's like a, a real pro skin health treatment. Um, the oat helps to soothe discomfort if you've got any or sensitivity. 
Um, the antibacterial, the antibacterial honey and propolis extract help to um, disinfect, detox the skin. Um, it's just, it's just phenomenal. And seriously, I love how rich it is. It's rich. It's velvety. But it doesn't overdo it. It's it has this. You can feel the squalene. You can feel the oils in there. It just has this really incredible consistency that's super com super comforting, um, and in, and, and it, that, that envelops the skin and all of this goodness. It's just a terrific formula. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's not expensive either. It's uh, twenty twenty two twenty twenty two dollars. Um, you can pick it up on the Sephora website, the First Day Beauty website, or wherever you shop for beauty. Fantastic job, fab. Good job, fab. Love that stuff. Uh, next up is this deliciously whipped, creamy, sublime treat uh, from Comfort Zone. In fact, it's called Sublime Skin Rich Cream. It is seriously rich. Wait till you see this. Look at that. Is that crazy? It's like whipped cream. It smells like heaven. I don't know what it is. It's, I, I, I know there's a small amount of fragrance in here, but it's such a small amount of fragrance, it's just hard for me to believe that that's what I'm smelling. Um, but 81%, uh, it's 81% natural, naturally derived. 29% of the ingredients, isn't that crazy that I remember all this? It's because I just wrote the blog. 29% of the ingredients are comprised of um, oils and butters. So you can only imagine. Look at that. But it's still, it's really rich and nourishing, but it still has this kind of fluffy, doesn't it look like whipped cream? It has this fluffy feel to it that is not... It's not, it doesn't overdo it. Let's get this on the neck. Um, so it's got sweet almond oil in it. It's got shea, uh, hyaluronic acid, all kinds of good stuff. It also has something called uh, palmitoyl glycine. Is it palmitoyl glycine? Um, which is a lipid. Um, you can read more about this on the blog, it's a lipid that has uh, collagen building properties to it. Really fascinating choice of ingredients and I had never heard of it. And of course I went down this really, really, really deep skincare rabbit hole. I have plenty of time to do that of course because I'm sheltering in place. Um, so check that out on the blog, really fascinating stuff. A, a, a super intriguing formula, I have to say, quite unexpected um, and terrific for treating dryness, dry skin, skin experiencing dryness as winter ends, as winter wanes. Incredible. I love this stuff. Good job, comfort zone. Next, let's go to, because I want to save the best. I want to save the best for last. Um, again, I've talked about this, this um, avocado eye retinol treatment from Cool Recipe a few times. Um, but it certainly earned its place in um, this particular blog review and, and the article on SkinKarma.com. Um, what's so terrific about this is usually you can't use retinol in the eye area. It's just too, it's too harsh. And you get like those little, I don't know, is it milia, whatever. Like I get like little dots in my eye area if, I, if, I, if I'm too extreme. But this stuff is like putty. I hope you can see that. Um, this little tiny pot, I got this. I use this probably twice a week, I would say. Um, and you can see I'm not done yet. There's quite a few applications left in there. Um, and the reason I bring that up is because it's $42 and it seems kind of pricey, but it really, a little tiny bit, this is actually even too much. A little tiny bit goes a long way. You don't have to overdo it. See that little bit? That's enough. Even that is too much. Smooth it on in the eye area before bed and you're good to go. Uh, it has two forms of avocado in it. Avocado oil, avocado fruit oil. 
Um, it's a clean formula, which I, of course, love. It's got hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Uh, let's get the rest on the neck. It's got glycerin, and it even has something called coffee berry extract, which is what it sounds. It helps to diminish puffiness um, and perhaps um, has an effect on dark circles. But dark circles are really, really vexing. They're very difficult to treat. Um, I talk a bit about that in my blog. Um, I talk about it on my post this week about um, the Super Goop, the Super Goop Bright Eyes um, SPF for the eye area. So if you have a concern for dark circles, be sure to check out my blog. There's tons of information. I've reviewed a few products that I think are pretty effective. Sunscreen is the most effective option. Um, but if you haven't had a chance to try this stuff yet, give it a look, seriously. A little goes a long way. It does a lot. Really, it, it does quite a bit for your eye area. And the fact that you're able to use retinol, I have literally never one time experienced any irritation from using this product in my eye area, which to me is kind of um, surprising and unexpected. Lastly is, the herbivore moon fruit. Let me see if I can get this right. Super fruit night treatment. <laughs> Watch this. Are you guys ready? If you haven't experienced this, it's kind of otherworldly. Like for real. Look at it. Is that amazing? <laughs> um, It's so unique. Like I, I'm hard pressed to think of another product that is even anywhere near near this. It's incredible. It brings me such delight. I feel like I'm smiling in the night while while I'm asleep. I'm smiling in the dark. You know. Uh, the first ingredient, Bravo herbivore. The first ingredient is not water. It is aloe, which I love. So the first ingredient is something that actually has a legitimate benefit for the skin. Water has zero benefit for the, benefit for the skin. I'm never gonna get this on. This is, this is weight, this is enough for two faces. Orpheus, can you imagine? Um, so aloe, it's got a slew of antioxidants in it. It's got red raspberry seed. It's got prickly pear oil. Prickly pear oil, uh, similar to um, sea buckthorn and rosehip seed oil, uh, ha the, the three of them all have phenomenal anti-aging benefits for the skin. Uh, prickly pear oil is also an antibacterial and, 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 and an anti-acne oil, um, interestingly. Um, full uh, uh, review on my blog at skinkarma.com. I go deep into uh, prickly pear oil and the benefits for skin. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I don't want to put it on my face now because I've already got a bunch on there. The, uh, it's also got, part of the reason why it's so rich, it's got a high content of shea butter in it, which of course skin loves. Um, the only drawbacks to the formula, in my opinion, are the fact that it has some lavender oil in it um, and sweet orange oil, I think, and neither of those has any benefit whatsoever for the skin. Um, in fact, they can be potential skin irritants. Um, I haven't seen any, so, uh, any irritation from using it. So, um, apparently it's not high enough, but I just, and I'm not fond of those ingredients. They're just not very good in skincare. Um, that said, herbivores overnight super fruit treatment is clean. Uh, it's 58 bucks. Like... This baby, a little goes a really long way. Um, so we have three clean, actually, I don't know. I, I didn't look, I just happen to know that these two and the Codex Beauty Cleansing Oil are clean. Um, I should look, I, I, I need to look. I should know that about the other two, but for some reason it didn't, it didn't register. But anyway, that's it guys. If you experience dryness, seasonal dryness, occasional dryness, you know, whatever, you just want to treat your skin well. Um, these are some really terrific options. And this stuff? Yeah. I think this is my favorite toner right now. 
Uh, interestingly, I haven't used this yet for the seven skin method, so that's something I need to test. Um, I'll test that and get back to you. Anyway, that's all. I hope you're all being safe, um, that you're taking care, you're taking care of your family, that you're taking care of yourselves, um, and I will catch you soon. I'll catch you on the side, other side of this. Let's see how things are going in the world a week from now. I mean, a week ago, it's been a rough week, I gotta say. Um, but of course, I've immersed myself in skincare and I came out smarter. Um, so check out the blog, skincarma.com. Also, uh, this week I'm going to announce a giveaway. And so that's on the blog as well. You can enter immediately um, to win the Codex uh, Beauty Bia Wash Off Cleansing Oil that barely emulsifies, which I love. So uh, enter on the blog, that's there. And I will catch you guys later. Stay safe.